tutorial will literally take you under five minutes to create. If you have the format set, then you can save this and use this every time you are having new content for your newsletters and just reuse the same layout. people welcome back to my channel where we discuss topics to become the best version of yourself today we are in a new space because i recently moved into my first apartment today i want to discuss how to make beautiful edited newsletters in indesign because did you notice that everybody is using the same format for every damn newsletter it's because everybody is using MailChimp. If that's what you want to do, you can of course use the typical format that you can create in MailChimp. But today, this is for the people that want to put a little bit more effort into it, more branding to create newsletters that are exactly like the branding of your products and your website. So everything is consistent. We all know, say it with me, consistency is key. So this tutorial is very beneficial to your business. It's very, very important. And the only things you need is InDesign. It's nice if you have some basic knowledge of Adobe InDesign. Um, I bought my InDesign package thing program. I know that there are people that have a crack for the program, but I don't know anything about that. So that's something you need to figure out yourself but I am going to show you now exactly what you need to do to make these beautiful newsletters that you can import into MailChimp and wow your customers. This tutorial will literally take you under five minutes to create and if you have the format set, then you can save this and use this every time you are having new content for your newsletters and just reuse the same layout. Or of course you can create different layouts for different newsletters and reuse these. You don't have to be an expert because I am going to show you step by step all the things you need to know to making these beautiful MailChimp newsletters. Let's get into it. To start out, click on file and then new document. We will work with pixels so the width will be 600 pixels and the height will be 1800 pixels then you click on create this is what your canvas will look like and uh, this is a really nice size to use in mailchimp what i did was just create a background i'm just gonna see what the color is that i use for this one I'm gonna copy it really quick so you will create a square just click on the square and then drag it down on the whole canvas then double click here you copy your color that you normally use in for example your logos the background of your website etc etc then click on enter then you have this square and what i like to do is go to layers then you can open the layer and then lock it down so the background does not move if you click on the arrow here you can see you can drag whatever you want but it's not gonna move what i like to do is just drag down a photo from my files For example, this photo, you just drag it down, drop it in InDesign, and then you press Shift and Command, and then narrow it down. And you need to press them both at the same time 
so InDesign will keep its dimensions. What we did um, is adding our logo. This is a PNG and you just put it in the file exactly like you did with this photo. Logo is a PNG, so no matter where you place it, it will always have a transparent background. So what we did then was creating a title. Um, I will put the font a little bit bigger and the font we use is Holy Mount actually. I'm just gonna put this is a title and make it a little bigger. So small, even bigger, okay. What we did was putting it a little tilted. This is a title, for example, what your newsletter is going to be about. It can be whatever. And we put like this element around it that is just a branding thing um, and what is also very important is to have product photos that have a transparent background. It looks more professional, but if you don't have photos with a transparent background and you are taking more of like lifestyle photos, then you can of course put them here as well. For example, this photo, you just drag it down, drop it, shift, command at the same time, and then you just narrow it down. So let's just speed this process up and then I will show you guys how to upload it in MailChimp. Okay, we just created our newsletter, very basic, just for the purpose of this tutorial. Then you go to file, then you click on export. You export it in GPEG or PNG. PNG is for transparent uh, photos, but I did not use a transparent background. So I'm just gonna go with GPEG. Click on it, then you click on save. You click on resolution. 300 is fine. Um, yeah, but I would just go with 600. And if it's too big, then go for 300 still. Quality, you can click on normal. You can try high. Let's see if it still uploads in MailChimp. If it doesn't work, then just go with normal. If you have a lot of photos in, in your newsletter, just go with normal because otherwise MailChimp is not going to accept the uploads because it's going to be too big of a file. So go with normal, then export it. Here it is. And if you have the feeling that it's too long, uh, then you can always go on your MacBook and just grab this because this is the only thing you will need uh, in MailChimp and then you just click on crop or do this in another editing photo uh, program. So now it is looking great, very basic for the purpose of this tutorial and now we are going to MailChimp to go and upload it. I logged into our MailChimp account and I uh, created a new campaign or actually replicated one of the old ones. Uh, so it's just easier for me to show you guys, but you can go to create a campaign um, and then click on edit design. And I am now going to show you exactly what our newsletters consist of. So as you can see, this one block is just a big photo, like you can see here. It is a photo all the way until this button. So if you have this, then you can click easily on replace. And we are going to upload the photo we made. I mean, the layout we made. I have so many folders, you guys. Uh, we go to newsletter, 
and then this one. We created this one in InDesign a couple of minutes ago. So it's uploading now. Then you click on it, click on insert, and as you can see, it uploaded into our file here. Oh, I see that the color doesn't fully match. I think it's because it's a GPG. Sorry guys, um, it's better to actually export it as a PNG. Sorry guys. What you do here uh, at style, you click on page, then you see the background color. Make sure that this color is exactly the same color as the background you created in InDesign. Otherwise, you will have a difference in color like we have now. Um, and that's not something you want to have. So what we always do is create a button here um, that links to the collection we are talking about here, actually because you can't insert buttons here and here because it's just one big photo. We created one at the bottom and direct the customer to the collection the newsletter is about. What we have here is also a footer that we created in InDesign. It's very basic. It's exactly like I showed you guys uh, how we made this. We created free shipping within the Netherlands and uh, international shipping from six euros. And this is something that is in every single newsletter layout. But we created as a separate photo um, because otherwise it is one big photo. And I'm not sure if that's go gonna be well with uploading and opening the email and stuff. So we just created two separate ones. And also because otherwise you can't insert the button in the middle. So that's why uh, we decided on having two different photos. And the rest is just uh, directly in MailChimp actually. This is, these are the social media buttons you can insert in MailChimp itself. And that's it you guys. It's very simple, very easy and you can do this under five minutes to the end of this super easy but super beneficial tutorial of making MailChimp newsletters. If you would like to see more tutorials of these online e-commerce tools, then please subscribe down below, put a thumbs up so more people can find this video. It would help them a lot, so please put a thumbs up. For more topics on the subject of online e-commerce, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day guys!